are looking at an isosceles triangle. Okay, so here's my isosceles triangle. It says it has a base length of 60. The base is the side uh, that's opposite my vertex. So the intersection of my equal sides is my vertex. And then it says the side length is 6 root 74. Okay, so here is the uh, isosceles triangle that I'm looking at. And now, um, one of the things that uh, is true for isosceles triangles, because these lengths are the same, if you were to treat the vertex of an isosceles triangle as the center of a circle, and then you imagine the circle that surrounds that or can be created with that center, okay, it can exist because these two sides would be radii of that circle. Okay, and so let's talk about some properties that we looked at in Chapter 4. And because if we took this base here of the isosceles triangle as a chord in our circle and we drew in the altitude. So the altitude here, if you take it uh, perpendicular from a, a chord and it passes through the center of the circle, then what does it do to that chord? It also bisects it. Okay? So we know that these two sides are going to be equal. And so that's the property that we use. And we can extend it just, or we can identify it just with alt the altitude of an isosceles triangle is going to bisect the base. And so I know that if the whole length was 60, that means that this portion was 30. And once I have this, my height can be established by using Pythagorean theorem. So my area is 1 half base times height. So I need to go in and find my h value. So the height for this is a Pythagorean theorem, h squared plus 30 squared equals 6 root 74 squared. Okay, and so if I subtract 30 squared from both sides and then extract my square root, okay, so here is my h value. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, oops, I'll leave it there for right now. So this is my h value here. My base, my b value is this whole length. The biggest mistake that tends to be made on these types of problems is if you break your uh, triangle into uh, two pieces when you draw the altitude and you use just one half of that uh, to calculate other measures, students will sometimes think that the base of your overall triangle is this shortened side 30, but it's not. It's the whole original base, so it's 60 times whatever this calculated value is. I can go ahead and, and solve that, so one half times 60 times this whole calculation, which is the square root of. Here I'm going to take my quantity 6, square root 74. I'm closing off that whole group and squaring it. And then minus 30 squared. Close off my whole square root here. And when I hit enter, I get my calculated value of 1260. The units are inches. It is an area, so it's square units. And so that would be my total uh, area.